Funicello punching in at the Mouse Factory. Boy, things sure have changed around here since I worked on the old Mickey Mouse Club. But you know, my kids and I have been watching the Mouse Factory, and they sure do cover some pretty weird subjects, from fairy tales to steam locomotives to sports. And guess what they want me to talk about? Penguins. Penguins? <laughs> Penguins, penguins. Oh, here we are. Any of various flightless birds of the family Phenicity, abounding in the cool regions of the southern hemisphere, having scaled-like barbless feathers, flipper-like wings, and webbed feet. Well, now we know what a penguin is, but did you know there are several varieties? Starting with the cute little blue dwarf penguins, all the way up to the majestic emperor penguin. The penguin may look like the rich cousin to the duck, twice removed, but he's really got a lot in common to us humans. He's affectionate and he's faithful to his mate. So faithful that the male penguin actually sits on the eggs while his wife goes shopping for food at the nearest ocean. Daddy has to babysit, or egg sit, for two months. Like people, love does funny things to penguins, too. Let's watch and see what I mean. Two months? <laughs> Okay, now here are some more facts about penguins. Let's see, they lay their eggs in rookeries, they raise their kids in creeches. Those are sort of public day nurseries. Oh, I love this part about the penguins. The male penguin, to show his love for a female, drops shiny pebbles at her feet. See, I told you they were like people. We girls love to get pretty stones, too. These pebbles are used to make a nest? Another way penguins are like people is that they love a parade. Give them a good leader and they'll march anywhere. Which leads us to our story about an animal trainer named Bring em Back Alive Donald Duck, who figured the best way to catch penguins was to dress like one of them. They make nests out of pebbles? Well, there it is, the South Pole. Even though the penguin's a warm-blooded animal, I don't understand how we can live in these sub-zero temperatures. But that's a penguin for you. He seems to love it or he wouldn't put up with it. However, there is one recorded exception to the rule, and his name was Pablo Penguin. Pablo the cold-blooded penguin. Yes, Pablo wasn't like the other penguins who loved the frozen Antarctic. He had a dream that someday he would float south. Or is it north? To the tropical paradise of South America, in a bathtub. In a bathtub? Come on, fellas. I like a good story as well as anyone, but a penguin who wants to live where it's warm? Really, now. Uh-oh, someone's at the door.